All right, hey, what's up guys? It's Roy here. And with today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing the OtterBox Commuter Series case for my iPhone 13 Pro. Now this case comes in at $39.95, so if you wanna buy this, you can follow my affiliate link down in the description. I do appreciate that. I do earn a very small commission from those purchases if you do so. And I will also link the 13 mini, 13 and 13 Pro Max as well, just in case if you have one of those. And this was sent to me from OtterBox, so big thank you and shout out to them for supporting my channel as usual. Now let's go ahead and take a real quick peek here at the box. So as far as the box goes, it looks just like all the other uh, OtterBox cases, as you can see here. So it has the opening here so you can touch and fill the case if you're at Best Buy or something like that. Branding here up at the top. It does let you know that it is drop plus three times tested to military standards. So you are getting some really nice drop protection out of this. Lasting antimicrobial case protection and compatible with Apple MagSafe chargers and wireless charging, which we will test in just a sec. Uh, 5G compatibility here, um, give back program, all this stuff, you know, commuter series on each side there. On the back, it is going to explain a little bit more uh, once again, reiterating the three times as many drops as a military standard goes, uh, made with more than 35% recycled plastic, has a secure grip, which we'll talk about, pocket-friendly design, which we'll talk about, and dual layer protection, which we will talk about. So let's go ahead and get this bad boy out. So pretty simple, you just pop that tab and slide it on out. And here is the case. So pretty simple. Obviously, if you know anything about commuter series cases, you know what they look like. As far as the interior goes, it has this really, really nice rubbery material here. So as you can see there, just looks good, feels good. Has a little extra part there where you can fill the uh, harder outer shell uh, poking through there. Uh, obviously it says drop plus there. And as you can see on the interior here as well, uh, just has a lot of uh, little airbags and everything like that inside here, uh, just to be able to give you that little bit better, uh, little bit better protection. Um, when you're dropping it. Now it is a dual layer case like it mentions. So if you wanna pop it apart, you can. It's very easy to take apart as you can see here. So you have the hard outer shell and then the TPU material on the inside. Um, and that's kind of what it looks like there. Now you don't have to take it apart to put the phone in, but I just wanted to show you all that it is easily to take apart. Now, if you wanted to, you could just go ahead and put the phone in and literally just kind of just pop it in like so. And there it is. And whenever you do this, if you do it this way, make sure since the bottom does come with that port flap, that when you are installing it, that you make sure that that port flap is not going to be obstructed when you're installing the case. So maybe install it from the bottom like so. And then you're just gonna push it in. And literally that's it. Like it's that simple of an install. And there she goes. So pretty simple installation. As you can see here, it does have that hard plastic back. You have the OtterBox branding here at the bottom. Uh, and like it does say, it is a pocket friendly design. So with this smooth hard back, it does slip and slide out of your pocket super easy. So no issues at all, uh, which I absolutely love. Now with it having this uh, more grippier uh, TPU material, uh, it does pick up some lint and stuff out of your pockets, um, but that's something that's easily just wiped off. Um, but if you're OCD like me about it, you're definitely gonna be wiping it off a lot. Um, but as you can see there, that's kind of the look here on the back. Looking at the camera bump, as you can see, you do have a really nice um, lip that goes around it. It does raise up around the camera lens, but the lenses are nicely just kind of compacted down in there. So you aren't gonna have any issues at all with laying it on the table or anything like that. And it does have like this high gloss black material that goes around it. Uh, but looks pretty good considering, you know, um, it kind of gives you some different shades of black with it. Now, as far as the sides go, as you can see here, uh, it does kind of give you that multiple kind of uh, the grippy TPU material the, with the mixture of the harder outer shell here. As you can see here, you do have some extra grippy little parts there uh, where the power button is. It is a raised power button. It's very easy to find there. But as you're rubbing your finger across, you can definitely just feel the different textures there. And then going down to the bottom here, as you can see, it's kind of that mixture once again of the TPU material and the uh, harder outer shell. You do have some nice little cutouts there for your speakers and mic. And then with that port flap, as you can see, you can pull it down 
and now you have easy access to your lightning port there. And if you don't want to get any gunk or anything in there, then boom, you can cover it up and you're good. And the side here, just the same thing, kind of like the, the side where the power button is, you can kind of see where you have the mixture of the TPU and hard out of shell once again. Grippier materials here on the side where you have some raised volume up and down buttons this time. And a nice little deep cutout there for your alert slider. And then going to the top, obviously nothing up here. Um, but I do like to kind of usually show off kind of this little hump a little bit if you can see it. Um, but it is not very big at all, to be honest with you. Um, so the front, as you can see here, you do have some lips that raise around the front of the screen. So you are definitely going to get some really nice screen protection with this case. So there's no issues at all um, with it. I do have a tempered glass installed on my phone as well, as you can see here. And there is no issues at all with my tempered glass. So definitely tempered glass friendly. And then that's kind of the way that it looks with the cutout around the speaker grill up there. And as you can see, it does have just a little tiny slit that raises above it. So now I like to do the wobble test with these phones just to see if there's any shakiness when you are laying it face down or back down on a hard surface. So as far as the back down wobble test goes, a little bit but not much as you can see like in the reflection of the screen not a whole whole lot on the front if you're laying it flat no wobble at all and it's just mainly because it is a flat kind of all around front and the back almost is but there's just that tiny little lip around the lenses that is going to cause that wobble just a little bit so the next thing that I like to do is my clicky button test to see how clicky and responsive these buttons are. So let's start with the power button first. And volume up and down. Okay, so the buttons are very responsive. So definitely the power button and the volume up and down buttons are very clicky and tactile, so definitely two thumbs up there. Uh, next thing that I'm gonna do is kind of test the ease of access with this alert slider. So let's see how easy or not easy it is. So surprisingly enough, very easy to get a hold of. Um, even though it's nice and deep in there, the way that they have it angled and cut, uh, it actually makes it very, very easy to access it with your fingers. And uh, I don't really have fingernails much. I cut them the other day. So very much so, very easy to get your finger in there. So the next test, of course, is going to be MagSafe. So I've got my MagSafe charger here. Now it does say that it is compatible with MagSafe charging. So let's see. And as you can see there, it is MagSafe compatible. So no issues at all there uh, with it recognizing it. Um, it does find it fairly easy. Um, as you can see here, the little hockey puck will find it, uh, but it will not stay on. So unfortunately, this is not a, a MagSafe case where it has built-in magnets, but it's going to stick on there if you're going to just lay it flat, you know, like on the table or something like that. Um, but it's going to be very easy just to lift off and on. It's not going to just stick on there like if it had MagSafe magnets built inside of it. Um, but uh, with all that being said, guys, uh, this case is uh, one of my favorite OtterBox cases. I've always been a huge fan of the commuter case because it's a slim design. It gives you that dual layer protection. Um, I do love that there is no fingerprint issues or smudge issues with this type of case on the back here. Um, so once again, very easy to get in and out. Obviously, it's a scratch resistant type of case as well. So it's not going to just get destroyed. Uh, with uh, you know keys or anything like that um, but yeah so like I said it's it's a slim design it feels very good in the hands uh, the extra little grippy pads on the back here definitely help as well when you're holding the device in your hands so all in all guys I definitely would recommend this case if you're looking to spend in that $30 range for a case so hit that like button if you like the video if you loved it you know what to do ring that notification bell for up-to-date content and hit that subscribe button and uh, keep on coming back, guys. I'm really trying to grow my channel, so I appreciate the love that y'all are showing me lately. So big, big thank y'all for that. So anyways, be safe, God bless, and we'll see you on the next one.